petal face welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea y'all <laughs> excuse my hair <laughs> i tried to do a twist out this morning so don't judge me um ah uh, uh. mm. it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to so now I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just going to have to kind of live with this for now. Or should I just um, throw it back in a ponytail? I don't know. It's not like, it's not horrible, but it's not cute to me. Oh my God. I don't even want to look at myself right now. How did this end up so horribly? That's insane. Like this is insane to me. I wanted to try to do something cute with my hair because Trey is coming to visit me and I'm supposed to go pick him up from the airport today at 6 o'clock. Um, I'm trying to avoid putting heat on my hair so I didn't straighten it like I usually would have but I'm going to be honest, I'm thinking about straightening it. I'm thinking about just straightening it because this is, this ain't going to work. I don't even know how to fix this like... It just don't look right. <laughs> Let me see something. <laughs> like, why couldn't this just turn out right? Oh, no. Oh, and it's so tangled and it's going to take forever to do so. <sighs> okay. Anyway, what is this vlog about? So, guys, I actually have a lot of things that I have to do today. Today is... It's, it's busy, but it's not too busy. So um, as I told y'all before, I am um, filming my entire fragrance collection video. So I'm filming that today. So I was trying to prep and prepare for that. It's not going to be anything professional by any means because I am not that girl. I'm not her. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I have and like some of the settings and situations that I will wear them to that type of thing and just a little bit about it why I bought it maybe who knows I don't know we'll we'll see when I get there we'll see if that even happens today but that I'm also uploading a video right now it's going to be the one that you probably already saw it's me getting my new car that I love oh so much I'm still loving that car by the way and um oh in about five minutes I have an interview because as y'all know, um, if you watch my goals video, I said that I wanted to be with two agencies, four agencies, right? Um, I want to be with two agencies for LPN work, nursing work, two agencies for respiratory therapy work. So the interview that I have today is for a PRN LPN position. So I'm super excited about that. And I won't lie, I completely forgot about the whole, like the civilian job getting process is, um... It's intimidating it's, it's intimidating gotta talk to somebody and explain to them why they should let me do the job that they need to have done but okay okay I got it um let me see I also have to go to CVS to get a TV screening because a lot of the jobs and stuff that I am looking at they want you to have a TV screening and my TV screening is expired so I can't use the one that I already have um so with the hospital that i'm working at it's expired there too but because i am a soldier i guess they don't need to have it updated so they're not going to update it unless there's a good reason to screen it that's why i have to pay out of pocket and go off post so there's that and then oh i have my botox shot today um for my migraines for those of you that don't know you know now because i haven't really talked about this i talk about my migraines a lot i talk about my illnesses and stuff a lot but i don't talk about like my procedures and stuff so i am getting a um i'm getting botox injections and in back here for my migraines so it's something that i was paying for out of pocket for quite some time and when i got here back to liberty i mentioned it to one of my doctors and she was like that's expensive why would you be paying it out of pocket i said because even though i requested it and even though i've been through every treatment you can ever name under the sun to try to figure out this whole migraine and get it under control they did not offer it to me and they did not approve it so i paid for it out of pocket and it definitely cushions the blow it makes my migraines less intense i still get them at a frequent rate but 
there is nothing compared to when I'm not using the Botox shot. So they finally decided that um, it's worth covering. So I'm going to get my migraine shots today as well. And I think that it's about, oh, other than going to the grocery store and stuff like that to just prep a little bit more for Trey to get here. Yeah, I can't, I'm sorry y'all, I'm distracted. My hair is distracting me, I'm sorry. But that is pretty much what I have going on today. So I'm about to go ahead and get off here. I'm gonna see y'all later. My interview probably is about to be starting soon and um, hopefully my hair is a little bit better when I come back. We'll see. <laughs> All right, y'all, I just finished getting dressed, getting ready. Um, the hair looking a little bit better. I'm thinking I'm about to get some bobby pins to pin this up like this. Um, I just gave myself like a quick little ponytail and tried to do this curly bang, but it's not completely dry, so it's still poofing up. So, let me see. I'm trying to find, I know I have some freaking bobby pins in here. Oh, thank goodness. I know I saw some. I haven't used these. I've had these forever and I haven't used them. Oh, I haven't used most of them. Let's see. I think I'm going to pin this under here like this. Is that? Hold on. I don't know if I want to go like that. Unless. This can go in. Okay. I'm trying to hurry up because I gotta be out of here. I think that's a little bit better oh oh mm -mm, do not start that flaky nonsense yeah i had to put um hey what is it the um eco styler on here i should have just dried it more honestly but i'm genuinely trying to stop putting so much heat on my hair because i feel like that's what my problem is hold on uh, now i got stuff on my face And this little piece of hair don't want to it just don't want to stay where it's supposed to be look at that little piece right back here so yeah i finished getting ready a little bit earlier y'all i had my interview and it went well it went well i'm pretty sure it was because we bonded on the fact that i'm in the military and her husband's in the military and i don't know there was so many similarities like she's younger than me like her and her husband they're a younger couple than me and my husband so we're sitting there talking and i think hearing like where i'm at right now was kind of giving her a little bit of motivation which was nice which it, it was really nice so i'm gonna tell y'all right now this piece right here looks so much better in person because right now it looks super empty in the middle but it it doesn't i promise it looks really really good so um now that i have that um oh where's my ring what did i say y'all know that's my favorite piece of jewelry um uh, hold on i want to show y'all my outfit stay is it high enough okay so you can't even see it hold on let me put y'all down here okay so i have on this this turtleneck that i honestly i wear this pretty often i love this i got this from h m and i want to get another one and i have on my naked wardrobe dress underneath and so what i did is so <laughs> so here's the dress and it's the long sleeve black dress. You guys seen this. But what I do is I just put my bra. Because I don't wear a bra with this dress. So I put a bra on over the dress. So I'm able to just tuck this in like this. And this is how I like to wear it. Like that. Just to change it up. Just to. Because obviously I like the way the dress fits on me. But I can't. Oh, I got a hair on my lip. But I can't be wearing. Like. I could wear this dress as many days in a row as I would like to, but I don't want to. So just to switch it up a little bit, I can wear this dress for a week straight, all kind of different ways and nobody's going to know, right? 
so yes this is the dress this is what i'm wearing it's so cute it's so flattering it comes all the way down to my feet i actually had to cut these slits here a while back and i put them on both sides because when i say this thing is so hard to walk in without it it is so hard to walk in i think i told y'all that i got this sweater from h m i need to get some more because it's actually one of my favorite absolute favorite sweaters so yeah please hair act right um as far as the fragrance i'm wearing today it is going to be this Midnight in Dubai. I love that so much. That's probably one of my favorites. And then I always combo that with this, I think it's Delilah. I think it's the dupe for Delina. I just found that out too. I am going to be putting on for my shoes, these here, and then I'm carrying this purse so let me go ahead and get ready all right y'all so i just finished up at the hospital um at the clinic getting my botox shots and when i say i do not remember those things being that painful it wasn't bad though it wasn't bad i just don't remember it being that painful so um he ended up doing the two shots here one shot here across the forehead here and so i'm used to getting the ones in the front like the ones here but then i also get some in the back what he did new this time was he put some on the sides of my head, but then he also put some in my shoulders right here, like three shots here and three shots here. So I'm kind of nervous on how it's going to feel once that finally like takes and start kicking in in the next few days. So yeah, but so another thing that I noticed is he put the shots here. So how I used to get them is they would go across my forehead. They would put the two, like the two or three here or something like that. And then here but then they would put a few in the middle. He didn't put a few in the middle. So now I'm wondering, is everything except this little middle part gonna be like paralyzed? And what in the world is that gonna look like? So I thought that was weird. But other than that, yeah, the sides and the shoulders, that's what was new to me. And when I say he put that, that third shot on this side, that shit hurts so bad i don't know what he went through it was so bad and then i usually have like a vein or something over here um that will pop out i definitely felt him hold on y'all i'm trying to fix this i definitely felt him poke that freaking vein that that i would have up there so we gonna see what happens with that but um other than that it was fine like it it wasn't too much bleeding it wasn't too much pain nothing so i'm just hoping y'all i need to go and rinse my hair out because this is y'all see this i don't even know if y'all can see that y'all see this there's so much going on right now i'm at the commissary i just pulled up here because i gotta grab some groceries trey is going to be here in about another four and a half hours because he had a long ass layover so i'm just waiting just patiently waiting for him to get here with his crippled self because he has surgery right literally right before he's coming here he has surgery but hey, you got to do what you got to do when you're in these long distance relationships long distance marriages and stuff like that so you just you just gotta you just gotta handle it you just gotta make it do what it do but um y'all look at this i don't like my hair I'm, i need to hurry up and get home but yeah i have to get some food and stuff i'm kind of mad i didn't make a grocery list i kind of have an i kind of have an idea in mind what it is that i need to get so i'm going to try my hardest not to be just in here grabbing random stuff that i do not need on top of the fact that i do have a decent amount of like stuff to drink and stuff at the house as it is so at least i can go ahead and skip those aisles so yeah oh what time is it what time does the CVS close, y'all? What time does the CVS clinic close? Um, come on. I'm hungry. Whatever. I'm just gonna have to go by and see. Yeah, because I still gotta stop at CVS so I can get my TB screening, and then that should be the only other thing that I have to do. I gotta get home so I can make this thumbnail, so I can finally make this video live, and then I'm chilling for the rest of the day. It is Friday, I still got Saturday and Sunday to just live my best life. I cannot wait for my husband to get here, y'all. I cannot wait for him to get here. <laughs>
y'all that crown I got was not it my teeth hurt so bad like any little thing is aggravating this cap and it's crazy because she said oh yeah I expect you to have a little bit of sensitivity no this is not a little bit of sensitivity this is literally anything with a slight bit of heat to it anything with a slight bit of coldness to it is excruciating I can't put any pressure on it at all like it's so sen like it's so sensitive I was better off with the cracked feeling like I well, <sighs> I should have just left. I should just left it alone. It wasn't even that bad. I didn't even know that's the one that they were talking about. I thought they were talking about the one that was like really broken. It's so crazy. I should have just left it alone. That's so crazy. That I went through all that just to be in even more pain. And it's been a few days. It's been like a week since I've gotten this feeling at this point. And I still can't like really chew or bite anything on that side because any type of like if i'm eating something on this side and some like food gets in like my bottom teeth like you know like if you're eating chips how it kind of like get packed in there and i go to bite anything else excruciating i'm i lose my appetite and i don't even want to eat anymore like i'm talking it's so bad where when you bite down like when it gets like that and you bite down or if like pain if like heat touch it if coolness touch it it's like a shock through my body Ugh, my God, it's so, bad. so I'm thinking because I can't do anything about it until I guess later in the week because I have my colonoscopy and an endoscopy on the fifth on the sixth maybe I'll be able to do it on the sixth because I'm not supposed to be at work on the sixth either because I'll be recovering from that so I'll probably go in for a dental sick call that six if my stomach isn't being too crazy because I no, I can't sit in this type of pain. I cannot sit in this type of pain. This is horrible. Like it's so bad. Damn. I should have just left it alone. Excuse me, Miss Ma'am. Ah! What are you doing? Hi. How are you? Good. Girl, this in here vlogging. Guys, y'all know Santa Vlog. Say hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Wait. I'm in a car right now. Just leaving the commissary. I'm heading home. <laughs> I was in a car talking to Santa Vlog for like a good hour, over an hour easily. We we're just catching up, talking about everything and now I'm rushing home so I can drop these groceries off. So I can, can I get over here? Now I'm rushing home so I can drop these groceries off so I can hit the road so I can go and pick up Trey. It is 1619, so 419, his plane lands around six o'clock. <laughs> but I'ma tell you right now, I don't consider myself someone who have a lot of friends, but the friends that I do have, I absolutely adore, I absolutely cherish, and like Sandoval, friends like that, I just, ugh, every single time I get a chance to talk to her, it's like putting a freaking battery in my back. You know those friends that read, so you have two different type of people that's in your life. You have those people that you hang out with and it's just so draining for some strange reason. You're so exhausted afterwards and you're just like, Ugh. When they call, you kind of look at the phone like, oh, what they want, come on. Like, you have those people that sometimes you still consider friends, but then you have those other people that just recharge you, they give you energy. When you leave their presence, you're feeling super positive and just super good, and that's her. That's her, and so when I say I'm, I left her, oh, I just love her so much. When I say I just left her, I'm feeling so good. Once again, today is gonna be a good day. I can't wait to go and pick up Trey. Like, those are the type of friends that I have in my life right now. And I am beyond blessed. Now, are we all in the same place? No, we are grown now, so we all spread out and stuff like that. But I am still absolutely blessed. Hold on, y'all, it's hot in here. And I'm just so blessed to have each and every last one of them. I'm telling you, AC, I'm 
I'm just blessed to have each and every last one of them. I'm just, I'm just so grateful because that was such a good interaction. Out of all the people, like what, what? And I needed that today. I needed that today. God knows exactly where he be placing these people because I needed that today. So thank you, girl. Thank you for a good time. Thank you for a good chat. I was so excited, but now let me get home and get these groceries in this refrigerator and go get my man. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Tell me why I stopped at McDonald's and got a freaking double cheeseburger. No pickles in a Sprite. That is about to come back to hunt me some serious later. But I didn't even care. When I say that burger was just so good. Because all I ate was breakfast earlier this morning. That freaking burger was just so good. Mm -mm -mm. But um, it's I'm on track. I'm heading to the airport to pick up Trey. <coughs> burping all over the place already i just ate it give me a chance <laughs> um yes i'm on my way i'm about to hate my life i'm on my way to pick up trey from the airport and um gps is saying 51 minutes his flight is supposed to land around six o'clock so it's getting me about getting me there about 12 minutes after six so i guess that gives me time to Oh gosh, I guess that's gonna give like the plane landing and them actually getting off the plane and getting through baggage. So I should be there in time to pick them up at the doors. what's up it's the next day and i really have not picked this camera up i did put in a few little clips so whatnot but yeah um i made breakfast i did my nails y'all look how good i did this time can you see that is it gonna focus but i ordered a different kit it's like the gelex dupe kit like the bumble the bub beetles brand on amazon and i feel like this was so much easier like the cuticle area i still need to clean up but it was definitely so much easier and it looks so much better than when i was doing the dip so i might just end up doing this um but i'm definitely getting a different shape next time because i just don't like this wannabe almond shape i don't like that anyway um yeah i was just coming on to give y'all a quick update nothing is really happening y'all already know how i feel about vlogging and stuff like that when a tray is in town um i'm gonna have him say hi to you guys later on but yeah he's downstairs right now playing a game i'm about to start cooking y'all i wanted to make some freaking fried chicken but i realized i didn't take out the chicken wings i took out some chicken breasts so i'm about to make some chicken alfredo instead yeah but i also wanted to show y'all so the botox from yesterday right because i feel i feel it doing something i feel it doing something i know the last few times i had it, it it takes a few days before it starts to kind of freeze everything up so i just wanted to show y'all because he put injections here 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 and here i believe and then he put a few across here um he didn't go in the middle i think i explained that before but then he put some over here and over here in the back like in the back of my neck and then on my shoulders here but as far as what my forehead is doing and even this like when i would frown it's it's more like this so it's already taking effect i just wanted to show y'all and this is usually like definitely way more balled up than this so it's already taking effect, but I just wanted to show y'all what I'm doing. Like this is me like really pulling it down. And that's crazy cause this would be more together. So this is taking effect a little bit quicker than what I'm used to having, lifting it up. This is me like really. So just to show, <laughs> just to show y'all what it's doing right now and then i'm gonna show y'all day by day and see how much it actually freezes up and what happens with that but let me go downstairs and start cooking i'm about to get into something a little bit more comfortable 
and I'm gonna see y'all later. <sighs> y'all, please excuse my appearance, but I'm going through it low key. So, first of all, this light is really bright right now. There we go. Why was it that light? I'm, I never have it that bright. Anyway, y'all, I caught myself throwing some twists in my head real quick in an attempt to look like something, and I'm just. I'm just not liking what I'm looking like right now. I just, I don't feel attractive. I feel ugly. I feel dirty. <sighs> anyway, I have to have regular colonoscopies as well as endoscopies done for surveillance because of some of the conditions and stuff that I have. And if you don't know about colonoscopy, you have to literally clear everything. You have to clear everything. And if you're medical, you've heard of Go Lightly. That means you know there's nothing going lightly about having to take that. So right now I have this um, movie prep here. And this is, this basically go lightly. And what it does, y'all, let me explain it first. So I just finished the dose that I needed to take for today. Um, I need to prep the other one for the morning because I also have to get up in the morning and start drinking it again. And what it is, is the doses come in these little packets here so you have um this is the powder a and you put that in the container and then you have this um packet b you put that in a container as well it's supposed to be in about 64 ounces of water so they do have this little thing here and so everything is mixed up so let me tell y'all the order of how this went so what they do to prep you because the thing is when they prep you they want your bowels completely clear i mean they want your bowels clear your poop should be running clear you should be able to see through your poop like there shouldn't be anything at all so the day before all day well starting at about one o'clock i couldn't eat anything else so i was able to eat breakfast this morning didn't even eat much because i knew it was just going eh. I couldn't even eat much because I knew it was just going to be running right through me. So I just, you know, ate like something just to kind of put something on my stomach, but not too much because I didn't want to put myself through too much today. So since about 1230 ish, I haven't eaten anything. I ate some bread at like 12 or something like that. But what you do, well, what I do, because I don't know, I, I'm going to be completely honest. I lost my instructions on how they do it at this hospital, but I'm pretty familiar with the procedure. So this is how I do it. This is what works for my body. Um, you have a, um, a LASIK, basically like a laxative. So this, I can't pronounce this, but you have a laxative, right? And I took these laxatives at about one o'clock. So I took the laxative starting at one o'clock. It's four of them. You take them all together and that's kind of like softening everything up, getting everything ready. I went to the bathroom a few times after that. It was nothing pretty, but yes, that's basically preparing you for this. So basically, once you have all of this stuff mixed up. So when I took this at one o'clock, that's when I ended up mixing this and I put it in the fridge. I don't know why they have this wannabe like lemonade taste with this, but I wish they would make it flavorless because that taste and the smell of the taste is absolutely disgusting. It is so, dis it, it makes it hard to want to swallow. It's, it's gross. So I just put it in flavored water or you can use Gatorade, something that's clear though, something that isn't like, it can't be red. It has to be clear basically. So I use flavored water. So you put it in here, prep everything, and then I freeze it. And then so after that, starting about three o'clock is when, um, four o'clock is when I started taking this. Now you're supposed to, it's again about, is that 64, 64 ounces in here? And you're supposed to do eight ounces every 15-ish minutes. And then basically everything gonna be running through you. I just finished my last eight ounces. So I'm actually gonna take this back downstairs so I can start prepping for the one to, so I can um, prep this for the one that I have to do in the morning. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, once you are done with this, it's, it's literally running through you. It's literally running through you. It's so bad y'all. I kid you not, I was sitting on the toilet for so long. And I'm not saying TMI because it's, to me it's not TMI. It's, 
it is what it is but i'm sitting on the toilet obviously it is rushing through me like my whole entire insides is emptying out into the toilet right i'm like okay i'm good i sat there for like maybe a good five, five ten minutes afterwards just to make sure because i'm telling you you got to be like right next to the bathroom with this like process of this type of procedure and i get up and i'm standing there i'm like nah it's not done sit back down even more and it's so crazy because if you ever have to do this it's going to seem like you're pooping so much but you have to remember your intestines it's long it's so much like it's so long your intestines that's inside of your body is just all balled up and pushed inside of you basically so all of that has to get cleared out all of it every every single thing has to get cleared out so yeah that's what i've been dealing with today I can't even take a nap because I don't want to poop on myself. Um, yeah. So my procedure is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And I'm so ready for this to be over. Because one, I didn't even cook for Trey tonight. Because I just did not want to even tempt myself to eat while I'm cooking. Because I will. And then regret it. I will live to regret it. And I want to eat breakfast. I, I just can't wait for it to be over. I just... I'm hoping, I'm hoping they don't find anything so I do not have to do this again. Because the thing is, they're just checking, making sure. Because my, my symptoms have been so bad and my flare-ups with IBS have been so bad. They want to make sure it's not something else. So if it's nothing else, hopefully it just stays that way. But other than that, I just, I just can't wait to be done with this. The other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to show y'all my face. My Botox update, I told y'all I'm going to show y'all day to day until everything either kind of evens out or completely freezes. Because what I'm used to with the place that I went to is all of this will be frozen. All of it. It will be just be frozen. It to, After a few days, the whole thing will be frozen. So this is where I'm at now. I don't know if y'all remember how it looks. Remember when I said when I will bald my face up, like I have like this deep line here. Um, This is it right now. It kind of got a little bit less that like day after i think and then this is it now and this is me really bald enough but if i'm just <laughs> so yeah i mean i'm so worried about that spock brow so i'm trying to keep an eye on that because i still don't understand why he didn't put the shots in the middle because that's what i'm used to them doing but so far i don't see anything crazy i mean over here looking a little should i be concerned about that i think that's just how my tattoo is i want to get rid of that too but <laughs> all right y'all i'm about to go hey y'all what's up i just wanted to come on and update y'all real quick because it's been a few days probably like a week or so since i picked up this camera but um mm, yeah a little less than a week but just know i'm gonna put it this way i have not been liking the way my face look and i'm gonna just say this do not let these military doctors touch y'all face with botox do not let these military doctors touch y'all face with Botox. Look at this. I don't know if y'all noticed, but do y'all We gonna talk about it though. <laughs> we gonna talk about it. We gonna get into it a little bit later. But I wanted to come on and just update y'all and just, you know, pick the vlog back up so I can go ahead and finally finish. <sighs> yeah, I don't know my health care has been very subpar lately so i just been down in the dumps about that but anyway yeah um after i picked trey up from the airport we honestly just been at home chilling enjoying each other i've been cooking for him he's been around the house hopping around the house doing little stuff for me which is so sweet even though he's supposed to be resting he's still just doing stuff so um I just always like having him around and that's another reason why i don't really pick up the camera right now while he's here because we don't get enough time with each other as it is so when i do get time i don't want to kind of like be stressing myself out over trying to get a shot or get footage and stuff like that so yeah i'm trying my hardest to not make like super dramatic facial expressions let me just tell y'all about this one right now 
ignore my super big forehead y'all that forehead is she she's showing off today but um this is me frowning this is me lifting my eyebrows as you can see i ended up with spock brow on this side and let the military tell it they can't fix it so this is the reason i'm upset y'all know i get migraines i have chronic migraines and i've been having migraines for quite some time i've tried every medication under the sun to control my migraines and i resorted to just doing botox out of pocket because anytime i tried to opt for it the army would they just didn't want to do it like the providers and stuff that i have they didn't want to do it so when i got back here on fort liberty i mentioned that hey yeah when they, when they were asking me about the medications I was on, I told them that I pay for Botox out of my out of pocket because I, okay, let's back up. When I went into an appointment, I was mentioning the medications that I was on. And when I mentioned Botox, they're like, oh, well, we don't see that here in the system. I said, that's because I pay for it out of pocket. I go off post. They said, oh, you don't have to do that. Hold on. My lips are dry. Oop. Okay. My lips are so dry. What is this? Anywho. Yes. So I mentioned to them that I go off post and they're like, oh, well, you don't have to do that. You, We can go ahead and cover that here on post. So one, I had to wait months for this treatment um which means my botox ended up wearing off completely and i was having migraines back to back to back lasting days weeks at a time it was horrible still had to wait um when it finally got time for me to do the botox i kind of laid out my expectations the things that i didn't want the things that i wanted and stuff like that right so i go in and as i'm getting the injections i can tell immediately that uh, I can tell immediately that he was doing different areas than what I'm used to because again this is something that I'm doing on a regular now I specifically said that I wanted to try to steer away from having that weakness in my neck when it's done so the people that I were going to before when I was in Texas they really like honed in on that sweet spot to kind of get that and then the uh, Spock brow because even before I started getting Botox, I was doing a lot of research and I'm like, I don't I don't want that. I come here and I'm explaining that to him and he goes, oh, but that's really common. No, it's not. It's not supposed to be. If you're doing the technique and stuff the right way, it's not supposed to be. So that was weird to me. So when he did the injections the way he did them, I knew immediately that he had just fucked up. And I'm like, so what are we supposed to do if it don't turn out right like um this is my face we're talking about and you know my eyeliner is leaking but then i started thinking to myself you know i should have just waited hold on so then i was kind of mad at myself because i should have known when the nurse was like rushing through like the one i wasn't late to my appointment first of all so there was no need to rush but she was like rushing her up and getting my vitals telling me how the the the, the doctors behind he got to do this he got to do that and i'm like okay so in my head it's like i know you're rushing so right then i should have been like yeah we gonna we gonna do this later when you have more time that's what i should have done I did not so I went through with these injections a few days later is when I started noticing the ring like it was wrinkling up here so I go and I'm trying to call I'm trying to figure out what I can do about it because it was bad like it was literally like this was like down here and this one was like clear up here it was it was pretty bad so yeah it was so bad so I go back in and I'm like hey you know somebody I need to talk to somebody about my face because it was just embarrassing walking around like that being you know like that I have to be in people's faces I have to talk to patients I have to talk to my NCOs I have to talk to people fix my face so the nurse ended up coming out and she's like yeah he's really busy right now he said he can give you a call I had to wait until like four o'clock that afternoon obviously everything is closed at that point but he did give me a call and what he told me was the military allows them to inject our face with this stuff but if it messes up for whatever reason and it's just a cosmetic issue, they don't they don't allow them to fix it. So basically, you did this to my face. The army allows y'all to do these things to our faces and fuck up my face. 
but they don't allow you to fix it. And this dude's really trying to convince me that there was nothing that they can do. Cause I'm like, okay, so if you guys are expecting me to get my Botox here and you do something to fuck my face up for three to six months, and you're telling me there's nothing you can do about it. You cannot fix it. Because again, I've been having, I've, I've been getting Botox for the past year, never had a complication. When I was in Fort Sam, never had a complication because I was going to a spa, a med spa out there and they would always do my Botox for my migraines in the back, in the front. I never had any kind of complications at all. The first time, the one and only time I allow the army to touch my face, these damn army doctors to touch my face, y'all fucked me up immediately. Like, immediately. So, I just wasn't happy about that. I'm still not. I had to go and actually pay. And that's another thing. I had to go and pay out of pocket to get my face fixed. It's still not completely. It looks better, right? It's still way more motion than it's supposed to be. But I'm going to wait for this to wear off and let the place that I'm going to now fix it. Like, do my Botox and stuff for now on. But he literally told me on the phone when I was talking to him. He's like, well... There's nothing that we can do about it, but you can probably find like an esthetician or somebody off post that can fix it and even it out for you. But you fucking did it. You fucking did it. You fucked up my face because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So why the fuck do I have to go off post and have somebody fix my fucking face when you are the one that did it? Y'all, I cussed this man out, I won't lie. And I hung up the phone and I was like, yeah, I might lose my ring tomorrow because ain't no fucking way you just fucked up my face. Like, y'all, <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. But, um, yeah, I'm over it now. I'm over it, but I'm not over it. But it is what it is. It happened. I'm going to blame myself because, again, with the rushing, I should have said no when I realized he wasn't injecting my face the right way. I should have spoke up a little bit more. Um, there was just, yeah, there was just things I could have done to advocate for myself a little bit better that I didn't. And that's the reason why I just didn't want to be on camera because I just didn't like the way my face looked. I still don't. So, yeah, it'll get better though. Like, do y'all see this? Like, <laughs> okay, and they don't. <laughs> okay anyway anyway i'm in the department now i'm just studying a little bit like i said i just came from the floor doing some rounds and i'm studying a little bit because i had to reschedule for my tmc because y'all i'm still trying to go for high cut so i can get my rt so yeah today it's a pretty typical day it's fine, y'all. So Trey don't have his truck out here, right? Cause he flew out here. Y'all, he dropped me off this morning for school. What well, for school? He dropped me off this morning for work and I felt like a kid going to school on the first day. Cause first of all, since I'm back studying, I'm not carrying my purse, I'm carrying my backpack. And I'm just like all excited. Cause this is technically my first day, like officially my first day back in like the next last two months because I've been like busy with these med board appointments and stuff like that. So I was just so excited to come here. I laid my little edges down this morning. I put on my favorite scrubs this morning to pack them my whole backpack. And I'm just jumping out the car with my backpack, walking into the hospital. He gave, gave him a kiss before I started walking in. He's like, I love you. I'm like, I love you too. Like a child. But yeah, it's fun. I'm so glad he's gonna come pick me up after I get off. So yeah, I just wanted to come on so I can pick the vlog back up because y'all was gonna delete everything and just be like, all right, I, eh, eh, eh. but I'm gonna keep going for y'all. Mm-hmm. But there's more. But I'm gonna talk to y'all about hey, that later. Yo, what's up? I'm in a car. I'm finally off work, y'all. I do not like my face. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? I cannot keep telling y'all this, but do not let if y'all it look. If y'all have to get prescription Botox and you are in the military, do not let those doctors touch y'all face. Don't let them. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it because if they mess up, apparently they are not allowed to fix it. So let me try to figure out what I need to do. 
I just have to like not move my face so much. And it's, but it's so hard. I have facial expressions. Okay, okay. I got it. Okay, I can do this. Okay. Anyway, hold on real quick. What am I doing? I'm so confused right now. Um. So, I'm in a car. I am about to study a little bit more. Y'all, I got my little setup and everything here. Look at all this space. Like, I can literally use this space like a freaking table. Like, this is so crazy. So, I got my computer just sitting here. I'm about to study a little bit more. I'm outside of a barber shop because I'm waiting for Trey to get his haircut because he ended up picking me up from work while he was waiting. And I guess... um I don't like this at all. I might. I keep going. I'm gonna keep going for y'all. I'm gonna keep going. But um, he was getting his hair done, and he was still well not getting his hair done, y'all. My insecurity is my face right now, and this is this is horrible. If like that's what I get. That's what I get for letting the fucking military doctor touch my face. Anyway. He is getting his hair cut and he had to leave. He was waiting at first, but then he had to leave. Um, he had to leave to come pick me up and he, we were gonna go straight home. He told me he was waiting on a haircut and I'm like, just go there. I'm studying anyway. I can sit in a car and I can just study. So, that's what I'm about to do. And he forgot his iPad in here. Where is it? Hold on, y'all. I gotta run his iPad in there, in there real quick. <laughs> y'all. It's so much time later. I'm still in the car. Trey's still in there getting his hair cut. And I was talking to my sister. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, good thing it's not sprinkling no more. <laughs> anyway, y'all yeah, was just on the phone for so long talking to my sister and now i'm about to go ahead and get back to studying y'all i love talking to my siblings i cannot wait until i'm out and i can just go to the states and stuff that they're in so i can just hang out with them and just i just can't wait like i'm starting to warm up to the idea that i am no longer going to be in the military like that was hard for me like coming to terms with the fact that my military career is over it was hard i wish this I wish there was somewhere I can sit y'all but coming to that like realization it was hard because y'all even though there's some very very shitty not so good things about the army I loved it you know I love being in the military it really meant something to me but I do think it's definitely time for me to go because at some point along the way I kind of buried my identity in the military and I talked about that a little bit um in a few videos back but yeah I felt like I buried my identity into the military into the army in the army and I just didn't know where to go from there like who am I outside of the military because I came in I mean six months before joining the military I was homeless I was homeless I was a shitty person I didn't really have anything I just mm, um the army just turned me into a version of myself that I'm not ashamed of. And obviously I know I don't owe anything else to the army. I've done I've done what I needed to do. My eyes look so dark right now. I've done what I needed to do, but um yeah, it's hard to leave it still. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But I am getting a little bit muck. <clears throat> Ooh. Hold on, y'all. My lips dry. I am getting more and more warmed up to the facts or the idea of not being in the military and finding like my identity in my actual self. I'm still working on that. I'm still working on it. But yeah everything happens for a reason something 
crazy is going to come out of this. I already can see it. The way God is just lining things up. Like the timing for the things that's happening in my life right now. Crazy. Crazy. And you know what? I don't even want to drag it. But even with my face being like this. Something is about to come out of that. And I don't know what it's about to be. But this happened for a reason. <laughs> there wasn't a reason this should have happened. Other than something is about to come out of it. <laughs> oh no, I think. <laughs> and uh, I just can't wait to see. I just can't wait to see. God has a sense of humor, y'all. <laughs> That's one thing I'm starting to learn. God definitely has a sense of humor. And it makes me feel good. But... Um, I've been rambling, I've been on the phone, I've been just doing stuff. Let me go ahead and actually finish studying. Trey's probably about to be rolling out of here at any moment now, but let me go ahead and try to study even a little bit. Y'all, I kid you not, why is Trey rolling out the door? <laughs> I literally, literally just said not even five seconds ago. Gosh, this man. <laughs> That's funny. Hold on. Open that back, Shelly. I did. Oh, I pulled it. That's funny. Let me... Are you driving? No matter. Okay, good. You're driving. So you are? You. Flick of this. What's a don't think he's blasting here like that, girl. What you mean? Yeah. It's 77. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Holy crap. It's almost 77. What up, man? What it do, baby? You know just how to get the haircut. I was out here woofing it. Bro. Oh, yeah, you're trying to be cute. Woofing it bad. Mm. You know, right? I ain't, I ain't even look, see what it look like. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. A little lineup. Some, some, yeah. Sun. I ain't gonna lie. When I get haircuts from other people now, it makes me feel better about what I do to myself. So I feel like, like it's not bad. Like this is good. It's a nice little, you know, cleanup, whatever. But it's like, it's like I was doing the same thing. So it's not like. Yeah. Hold on. Listen. So I was just in here, right, talking to my sister all this time, and right when I hung up and I was like updating them, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and study <laughs> because Trey's about to roll out of here any any minute now. Mm -hmm. I turned it off. And I looked up and he was rolling out. And I turned it back on. I'm like, y'all. Oh, you're saying rolling because I'm on a scooter? That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild, bro. Be your own people, bro. Just praying on your downfall. Uh, but yeah. You haven't said hi to them yet. What up, man? You know, man. It's Trey, man. You know, you know, just, just, it's just me. It's just me. But yeah, you know, like always, hit that subscribe button down below and, you know, do your thing, bro. I told him, I told him this bro. is a medical vlog because you cripple. I have all these appointments that I had to go to. I ain't gonna lie, though. I do like you. It's pretty nice. Yeah, call me really cleaning up, but it's not too shabby. I ain't gonna lie, I can't wait to get out. Cause I really wanna low key, like, push my hair back up, but we'll Ooh. see. I'm debating, I'm debating, I'm debating. I'm just irritated about my eyebrows still. That boy Darian, you gonna to... be on one? <laughs> no, he gonna try to beat him. Look at this. <coughs> Put down the rope. You see it? <coughs> Put down the rope. Ooh, airway. Respiratory therapist, where you at? I got you. I'm dying, bro. But yeah, like, how do you do this to somebody's <clears throat> face and then you say, hey, yeah, we can inject oh, you? Them? Which one I want to look like? Yeah. I'm down bad. Yeah, it was so much worse. <laughs> <clears throat> I was like, boom. Wait, like, boom. Did you see how do it? Damn. Can't, you can't make angry faces anymore. It's not supposed to be moving at all. You can't make angry faces. You can't make no angry faces. This is an angry face. Oh, it's permanently angry face? Yeah, it's pretty bad. No, I'm saying you can't make an angry face because when you make an angry face, that's when you see it. Why are you doing that, man? Because I'm going to see it. Man, this man really like in the road, in the road. Like, boy, wow. you're so fit. That's Bam. crazy, bro. Like, he's in 
What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way, Anna. Ooh, like a Grinch. Get back up that way. But um, we about to go home. Just chill out. <coughs> it's Friday. I'm so glad I'm off for the weekend. I probably should do this before. I got in the car, but. One thing about it is I always forget to put the GPS in before I start driving. Oh, well, for me, you just be connected already, but uh, I'm just gonna be happy that it's. I gotta get this stuff, get used to all this footage, and it's kind of like going on, bro. It's fancy. It's beautiful. How'd you call it? Fancy? It's beautiful. I do it. It's nice, though, you know. I love this car. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Hey my battle bays, it is the next morning, it's Saturday morning, and I just finished making some breakfast that I didn't even finish eating because for whatever reason, I'm not that hungry. And when I'm not that hungry, that means I must be getting sick because I'm usually always <laughs> hungry for something, even if it's just a little snack, but that's besides the point. Nothing really crazy is going on this morning. I'm honestly just finishing up a little what is this a true crime documentary style video because i'm really into those these days um yeah and i'm about to go ahead and start studying again trey's out because he's getting the tent on my car fixed yet again y'all he ended up getting some tent on my car they fucked it up the first time had to go and get it fixed only for them to fuck it up the second time not only did they mess up the tent y'all see my new car y'all know i have very light interior in my car I don't know what they were doing but some type of way there was like black stuff all over my seats that wasn't the bad part because i have a leather seat so that was easy to clean but like on the ceiling on that little part that's like around the door there was like muddy dirty black handprints everywhere there was like water stains all over the place on top of the tent being messed up again i went directly back to that place when i saw the car the next morning in the light because i was so pissed off like how in a world do you manage to mess up somebody brand new car like that it was insane trey had the he spent a lot a lot of time like is that a fly why is there flies and mosquitoes out i don't understand it's it's only february anyway um yeah trey spent a lot of time like scrubbing and cleaning the dirt out of the car only for the people at the place to like make excuses talking about well, if the car came in like that, and I had to let the asses know, this is a brand new car that I just drove off the lot with less than a week ago. It hasn't even been seven days. So I have video and pictures to show you if you want me to show you how the hell my car came to here, but they were trying to like scrub off the dirt, didn't do a good job at all. They, I don't know, it was just a mess. So when they redid the tent again, y'all, it was fucked up again. So Trey went early this morning to let them know, like, you either going to fix this, you either going to run us our money back, or you either going to let the courts fix it. But one way or another, it's going to get fixed. So I guess they're fixing it right now. So he's there doing that. Let's see if they even get it right this time. But yeah, that's about it for this vlog. Just to go ahead and summarize, don't let these military doctors touch y'all face. Just go off post. Just pay out of pocket because at the end of the day, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Like my whole face is, mm, I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but my whole face looks horrible. Like it's looking poofy. It's looking, it ain't good. It ain't looking good for me. I can barely hold my head up once I do this. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. I'm going to go ahead and see y'all in the next one. Bye.